Hello and welcome to part 2 of setting up uh, Sigbeard with SavNZB. Okay, so this part of the tutorial will comprise of configuring Sigbeard. We'll go through the general settings, the search options, the search providers and so on. And then actually linking up the Sigbeard installation with the SavNZBD installation. So let's get to it. Okay, so first let's go to config and let's go to general. Usually I untick check for updates, but uh, you can also just leave it ticked. This is just so that sometimes uh, other ins or newer installations might just break something if you haven't tested that thoroughly. So for now I will leave it as default. Launch browser, leave that as default. What's important to note in in this page in the general settings is you want to enter a username as and password because you do not want your website to be unauthenticated and open up to everybody that can access so add a use I generally just use the same username and password for the SabNZB installation as well as the sick beard so using the same username and password there you can choose to enable HTTPS or not. I generally just say not. I remember it to make it easier. And then click on save changes. The next part is going to search options. So you can click on config and click on search settings. Okay, so once once you're on your search settings you would want to increase your usenet retention period to the maximum that your primary provider provides generally it's 500 days for paid accounts some free accounts would be 10 days or 100 days it all depends on your on your provider so i would generally just leave it at 500 your search frequency i leave that also on the default of 60 um you would want to increase that if your if your provider allows for less api calls but generally 60 should be enough that is it'll check for once an hour okay next you actually want to then integrate your installation with the sap nzb okay Okay, then at your NZB search, you want to choose SAB NZBD. The URL, enter the URL of your installation. So the one that I've set up was that. Enter your SAB username and password. Okay, and then so the API key. The API key you will get under your installation. So you go back there, click on config, you go to general settings, and then remember this API key. Yeah. So, actually, so you generate a new key. Click on OK. So this API key you can just control C and copy that out and insert that into your installation. Sigbeard. Now, what's important to note is the category, which is called TV. You will use this later. Click, click on test. Okay, so it looks like this one failed here, yeah, but I've noticed normally another default port is 1995. Let's change that to our installation, which is 1990. Let's test it again, and there we go. That's what you want to see. Success. Save the installation, save the settings, and let's move on to search providers. So this is the search providers page. I use nzbsa.co.za, which is a free resource in our country, South Africa. It gives me 20 free downloads a day and about 200 API calls, which is uh, more than enough for me. Um, I'm not a couch potato, so I really don't need that much. Anyway, and um, actually that reminds me, uh, my next series would 
there's actually an application called Couch Potato, which is really very similar to Sigbeard, and I'll be setting that up in one of my later videos. Anyway, so uh, the Sigbeard in so I I really use the Sigbeard index as a backup, and there are many other free and paid alternatives. Um, a lot of a lot of the paid ones are really good. The retention periods are really high. Um, but the but the free ones is generally more than enough. Uh, they generally have uh, um, shorter. Um, the retention periods are shorter with the free ones, and you're limited by the amount of downloads per day. Um, some good alternatives are, let's see, you've got uh, NZB.SU, you've got NZB Matrix, and if you do a Google search, you I'm sure you're bound you're bound to find uh, quite a few others. So just remember to you'll need to create a user on that site, and it's a standard membership that only gives you a few downloads a day. So once you have your API keys from whichever site you decided to use, it's okay. So now time to add in our search providers. This is the providers that actually allows you to or allows your application to connect to their website and search for new episodes. It's also called API call spider. You'll add a custom provider. Put in the name, the site URL that you'll get from the website. You'll put in your API key and you'll give it a description. Click on add. And remember in the previous video where I mentioned to add the OzNZB and register on that website. This is where you'll actually add that provider. So you give it a name and the site URL. And then the API key. And you click on add. Then save changes. Okay, it looks like I've already added them. That your new custom providers are added in the provider priority list, and then you'll just want to drag them up and make sure that okay, minus normally like that, and then just make sure that they are in the order that you want them to be. Okay, for this test, let's do that. Be sure to save your changes and then let's move on to the post processing. Okay, so at post processing, if you click on there, this is what happens after your files have been downloaded. Okay, what you want to do is you want to unselect keep original files. That's if you want to prevent having duplicates. And then you also want to move associated files. And you want to rename. Okay, do not use the TV download directory or scan and process. This is only if you're not going to be using Sab NZBD plastic beard. Okay, be sure to save your changes. Okay, next you want to let's see. Okay, next you want to do is your naming convention. This is just the the naming pattern that your show will be using. So, you use whatever suits you. That's the one that I like to use. And I generally use repeat. Okay, at, met at metadata, you don't have to select anything here. This is just additional information that, uh, that Sigbed will download for you. So, I like to have the show poster. Um, any ep episode information as well as show metadata. I generally leave the uh, to reduce download bandwidth. Okay, make sure to save your changes and let's move on. Everything should be configured in Sigbeard now. Let's move to SAB NZBD for the final config. 
this will be done in part three hope this has been informative for you thank you for watching and see you at part three